Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus, this is episode 46 of our Let's Play campaign Angels Mods tutorial Let's Play. It is no longer really a tutorial series, but it's more a general Let's Play where we try some new things out. So that's what we're gonna focus on. I am still streaming two days a week. It's been a while since this uh, last summary episode, so there's a couple of things to summarize. So what we uh, did last time was I explained the concept of a RoboBlock where these were converted and I've actually taken that concept uh, further, further to extent where now everything is built in RoboBlocks. You can see how busy they are. Let's actually start from here and see how many things are being just inputs and output in each base in each block. And when the base is running at a steady pace, it's actually quite idle. Looking at this. I'm gonna to need to do something else with the logos, but it's nice to have these logos, but it's getting a bit uh, overwhelming. But at least I can now see which ones are robo blocks. So that's that's pretty good. Okay, so that's one thing. All of this has been converted. That's why I have not done any updates lately because that's actually, it's honestly taking quite a bit of time to get that done. Aside from this, what we have done, uh, let's start the basics in order to continue the tagging we need let's have a look uh, from the tech that i was the next part is the brass the concrete and the aluminium those are the next things there that's quite consistent in terms of angels mod it's those three things that we need in order to reach the next tier and that's what the tier we want to get so the first thing we built was this beautiful thing here very very uh or it's actually identical to all the other you can see how quiet it is despite the, the speed of it, it rolling with. Those are fully saturated red belts going up here. Going here as well. Continuity uh, upgrading. Just keep going in. It's not exactly for complete belts, but it's definitely more. This is continually increasing, getting into ingots. The ingots don't really serve a purpose in this case because I don't want to combine it, but the ingots are being combined with some manganese that we created as part of the iron here. Remember the ingots was actually uh, way overdone here. So we will now see that I, what will happen soon is that we will actually run out of manganese and the iron, I'll start to do, need this one, which will only activate, this is the pure iron from iron to iron and uh, no mixing with manganese. I will be using that when, uh, when I don't have the manganese because here they're combined running up here and going in here for the combination. There's no other combination of iron uh, available. Okay, so this one is, it goes up to this location. I put a little wire condition here saying that if the manganese is empty, then direct it that way, which will lower the production or the productivity of the aluminum, but it will still make sure that we get aluminum. I don't want the aluminum to stall if we do not have any uh, uh, any manganese that's unfortunate currently iron will stall but that's uh, that's something we'll have to fix this is fully saturated and then goes into the robot network as soon as it goes in here then it gets uh, converted you can see here in out in out at each one there are 2000 leads so it's quite large buffers we have in this space this space is definitely not according to my normal uh, principles of not having big buffers but it does have big buffers. Another thing, we have a well sorted roller here. That's a little mod we added. And so that was one thing, getting the aluminum is very not really used, uh, doing much for us at the early stages. It actually needs some more things to combine with. So let's uh, jump in our, I'm not gonna jump in the crawler. I'm gonna jump in a car to get over there. Let's see if I can remember how far over it is. I think this is it. Then we're heading down. And we have another robot block down here. It actually was placed here for sort of random reasons, but it actually turned out to be really, really, ad, uh, really, really fortunate because let's look from a map view. It produces five things because they actually are somewhat connected. Limestone, stone bricks, Concrete bricks, reinforced concrete bricks, and glass mixture. Glass mixture, the reason why I'm going with glass mixture, let's have a look here. 
gas mixture is because it's exactly the same recipe silicon and lime as come on the cement oh the cement recipe so cement and glass is apparently the same thing in this mod pack what we have at this point you can see here things are being processed that's 10,000 what's this one it's not even keeping up but that's because it's being used here what we have as well this is just chucking along as fast as it can but what it starts with is this little one this is actually quite neat the explanation of it is we start over here we get some mud water and some normal water the mud water flows in it's converted converted all the way thin down however we are drawing things out or actually more likely this will do 200 per five seconds so if i look at this this will consume 30 per five seconds plus 30 that's 60 per five seconds this is consuming 20 one two three four five so that's another hundred so now we have 160 and this one is 10 10 that's 40 so all in all this will consume 200 uh, 200 of the various types here and that's exactly what we have which means that over time well they will be able to these will all be able to produce at any given time however at this point we can see that some of them this one's stuck that one is stuck this one is not stuck this is the one that actually limits everything and the easy thing would be just smashing another one could i do that actually i could do that almost uh, if I move the whole thing a bit down. But this is uh, pretty good. It won't be... The reason why this is active... Pick up... Okay, so there's some being picked up. And... is because I'm actually filling it up. You see here, this one is actually done. How much it picked up? Nothing. This one. Okay, it's also being picked up. So, it fills up the entire... Uh, storage location and that's the kind of the limitation of this is how much that it goes in so for example here it says 2000 2000 they are good next one good not good but good okay so the concrete here is filling up at this location and it will these are then obviously empty these are being consumed as soon as they are there and here you go. So in, let's say, half an hour, the whole thing will be stable and that will be starting to stockpile so that when demand starts coming in, it will be available. But this recipe, it's it's just a really neat way of doing it. Like small units here creating various things. Currently, we don't use the glass mixture for anything, but I'm sure it will be used at a later stage. It always is. At some point, suddenly glass is in short, in short supply. That was uh, the second thing that we've been building in the meantime. And the last part that I'd like to show requires us to go up and catch a train. And I think it's about here. Okay, let's stop by this location. So you can see here things are being requested. Some production materials, again, stupidly big buffers. That's just the way it is. And we are missing accumulators. Why are we missing accumulators? We can look up here. The accumulators are here. They are simply missing some batteries. Why are the batteries missing? They're coming here. Batteries here. Why are the batteries so slow? Uh, that is because they're missing plastic. Really? And why are we missing plastic? That's the plastic okay so plastic looks like it is either running out or completely dead here's the plastic that looks fine 1000 so this is 100 ah see that's a problem can i fix it from range sometimes you can an extra and where is it
there it's now 1000 so now 1000 is being delivered in that's going to be much more convenient because by when it was only 100 it would just basically take 100 switch it over and then request another one 100 so look into this yes one is being sent in to pick up and it's simply simply too slow to migrate things now here this will be looking much better now hopefully it will be able to keep a constant rate through and now there are three inbound four inbound five four five yeah i'm hoping that it is able to keep this from running completely out it really should be otherwise we have a bit of an issue this is not full is it no oh, it's plenty wait, left oh and it ran out but at this point now it should be gradually coming in i think we might want to have more than just 100 but at least what we're seeing now is wonderful because we are at least servicing exactly one red belt worth and you can see here as it is decreasing and it's out and another one and it's out another one it's actually exactly correct and here we are actually requesting it very actively trying to fill it up here that one also being requested this one will now go into make transistors and we will be start producing more at this location but but also at this location okay so we're using quite a lot of oh they're slow ones anyway that's definitely something we can fix but the idea here is we're gonna have to get some more uh human accumulators there's still some here and this is our loading location we got a train let's summon a train here solar junk out so basically these are filling up to these amounts so that when the train comes in it will be automatically loaded when it comes in the use the way i've done it is that it goes to the solar city accumulators and waits until it's empty when it is empty it goes back and then it goes at and so it's full this minimizes the number of trips going back and forth which i think is a good move are you coming yes you're coming and the train comes in here and i'll just leap on okay that was fast what we can see here is that's a full inventory and that one is a full inventory it'll probably never really be running out actually this one should have it yes this is not actually full it's basically saying if either of the materials are running out then you go back it's not like it all of them have to run out but if a single material runs out it goes back up and fills everything up Ooh, interesting oh i wish there was a way to uh, to do this more consistently the train is yet that's iron plates oh yeah that's the one of the old trains that is derelict and i'm not gonna jump on you oh this is not gonna end well yeah it did end well oh so now we're driving down to our solar city very basic and here we are it will continue to unload this one is unloading yay trying to unload all of this is anything inbound nope and uh, nope so this one's fine this is exactly what happens what always happens this one the one that's closer to the solar panels will always be unloaded first you can see here as well this one starts being used mm, i wish there was a better way to do that but alas it's just the way it is and how are we doing here yeah okay this is almost unloaded yes perfect so we go to our solar panel which did actually have a bit of issues the issue was and i think we'll do it yeah i'll i'll show it here the idea of how it works is let's find the solar panel it's a city block This is the solar panel. I have unfortunately been forced to add. Come on. Now you're just annoying me with those. Seriously? Not necessary. Okay. If I stand this down, it will probably not work very well. The reason why it won't work very well is because that would be Or if I look at 
this one. Mm, it's very hard to explain, but this area only covers exactly out here, but it does not cover this power pole. That means robots associated here before this one is put down cannot put down this power pole, which is the power pole needed to per to serve the, the robot port. If that, which means that when the robot port is placed, it will only have like that, that small residual power that it always has. And then I have to basically be lucky that things are being placed before that happens. And I'm never lucky. So what I had to do was actually take one of the accumulators out and put extra power poles here. It feels awkward. It's annoying. Please don't suggest that I move this one up here because if I do, then I'll lose the power on the other ones and the solar panel will be much, much smaller at a cost of not really getting anything. So what I have to do is replace these two. And now let's try it. What the way I do it is actually not by doing this, but by placing this one. Yeah. So now I placed all of these power poles. And if I look at the robots, they are now only eight are an active egg. Yeah, only eight, that's not much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There should definitely be more than eight active. Oh, there's nine. Great. Unable to calculate. So we have robots now coming inbound to these. They can only place these because if I look at it, they exactly do not reach this one. And this one, as you can look, is the only one that powers the robot with the exception now the one that I've added. So once that happens and these ones are placed, the RoboPort network will expand to fill this one. This one is powered from inside, so that can be placed with robots when this is placed and this is not placed. I can place the power pole so that uh, this RoboPort will be powered. And once that's done, I will be able to get the next ones. Let's see. The robots are unfortunately very, very slow. Because what happens is, oh, they're only on the way back. Wow, that's slow. Why are they only on the way back? Well, the problem is that if I look here, this is where the robots are located. They're always located furthest from the starting location. And the second part is I only have 300. I should, of course, have 1,000 or more than that, actually. And let's see. Now they're in inbound. These are the nine we need. I oh, they got tired. We'll just let them let them work. And in the meantime, I should contemplate getting some more robots. Once this is placed, they'll be able to do it. So this may seem kind of silly that I have to wait so long. But the idea is I just place it and I go back to my normal base. A bit later, I can do the other part. I will also be doing this one because why not? Might as well take both at the same time. Now I should say, see, two times nine being outbound. Yep, that's 18. Might as well. As soon as these are... Don't. Let's see. Here they are. I want to see that. Okay, so they need to charge again. As soon as we see the robot port being placed, you'll see a lot more be outbound here. Where are they? Here they are. This little crew of nine. Maybe a bit silly. And the other nine are heading back. This little cluster there, little gang. Now they're starting to spread out heading towards their destinations Let's see that one oh it gave up oh it gave up why are they flying back fly forward so there are nine here here they come yay look at this this is 298 now they are available and you can see a lot more are being outbound now there are 1626, which is the num remaining number, actually all the way over here, taking these ones in. And once that's done, we can take the next. Okay, they are also removing those two. What becomes interesting afterwards, I'm not gonna wait for all of this. Now we can see from this location, I can place that one, which is the one that powers the next rover port, but I cannot power these out here. They will only be powered once this is powered. And what I will then do afterwards, if I have the patience for it, of course, is stamp down this and stamp down that. 
No. Why not? So hard to take rubber, take uh, prints that are bigger. Ah, it's actually too. That one and that one. Try again. Boom. Doesn't matter, all my robots are very, very busy now and they'll be continue to be busy for, I don't know, half an hour or so. And then I can see. If I have one. No, that this one does not help oh, that one. You don't want these on the outside. They are actually hurting us quite a lot for the this blueprint. So I need to take those out meticulously. Update this blueprint as our standard. And I hope that it will, when I'm done with this, I have an odd number or a number divisible by four even. Otherwise I made a mistake. 48 is divisible by four, so that's good. I will now place this one, uh, okay, here. The only purpose of this is to put a walking path. It may seem silly to have a walking path in the middle. And that is basically something we leave it as it is and forget all about it. And the robots, they'll figure out how to do it. They're, they're really being derps about it. If they're flying in and they're like, nope, nope, I'm going to go in here. Nope, all of it. Oh, I'm also going to go in. These are going in here. It's fine, but they are slowly coming in here. Let's see what's coming in. That one? Yeah. And here as well, there's... Ah, look at that. But this is the one that's really interesting because this is the one that powers. Is that coming? Who knows? Who cares? We'll figure it out. So we'll leave this running for as long as we like, and then it'll be uh, working. We'll just hitch a ride back to the base on a train like this boom okay let me just check i don't think there's anything else that we built so now we have the solar power that is it's not exactly self-expanding but i just stamp some things down once every half hour or hour or so uh, we have uh, we are missing the next thing we're missing is brass and for that we need zinc so we need zinc and then brass and then we can start making one tier up also for example assemblers this tier brass aluminium not the concrete, but brass and aluminium. The aluminium we have, the brass we can we are working on. Then we get the blue assemblers, and then we get more. Up, oh, uh, to jump out. Okay, so once I've done that, I need to continue on the teching to get some more teching. Convert this so that we can continually work on getting every single science uh, sorted out in the space, and then we can start building up and up and up. We're still only in the mid game and we're really not putting a big strain on this base, which is a bit of a shame. So let's uh, wrap it up here. I hope that uh, this gave you an, a summary instead of watching that eight hours of stream. Uh, I'll be streaming again Mondays and Fridays, so be sure to check in, drop by. If you saw something strange or weird, leave a comment or uh, jump uh, into the stream and yell at me there. No point in sitting there yelling at the screen in your YouTube. Just go to the stream and yell at me instead. Anyway, thanks for joining. I'll be seeing you around. Bye.